Hey, this is Jonas from the Maxon Training Team and in this Cinema 4D Quick Tip I want to show you Per Object Transform which is available in the Move, Rotate and Scale tools. So here it is, Per Object Transform. Now let's select one object first and as you can see the Z axis of this arrow is pointing towards arrow direction and the same is true for all the other arrows. Like here it's pointing towards the Z which is the arrow direction and so on. But if I select all of them at once and move them in Z direction, you can see that I move them as a group. Let me undo this. And now let me activate per object transform. Now, if I do the same, you can see that I move these arrows along their individual Z axes, which is a quite cool thing. Now, let me show this to you in the rotate tool. I select the rotate tool and by default you can see that when I rotate these arrows they are grouped again and this is what you would expect. But if I now use per object transform, let me tick this, each arrow will rotate around their own individual axis. So let me show this to you by using the banking, the blue one. I rotate it and you can see that all of these arrows are rotating around their own z-axis. And the same is valid for the other two. For example, when I use the green one, I can do something like this. Let me undo this again and let me show you gimbaling rotation. And when I tick that, I want you to look at these axes here because they are changing. If I tick this, you can see that all axes are pointing y up, same as the group axis here. And now if I rotate, you can see that they are rotating using the same axis but still their individual pivot points as the center of rotation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.